The idea was to retransform a Christmas pilgrimage and show how history keeps repeating itself. The final impulse was Trump's blabbering that we defend their freedom and they are getting a bargain when referring to the US involvement in the Middle East. The reason for the Second Iraq War was not WMDs or terrorism, but simply oil. Many of the oil fields are now run by Western oil companies like ExxonMobil and Chevron, making huge profits without benefiting Iraq's economy or society. But the prime reason for war was to secure the international market's access to Iraq's oil. The US military is dependent on a continuous supply of oil which was threatened by Saddam. When Saddam fell, the power vacuum gave rise to what is now known as Islamic State. The US then started to send weapons into Iraq, so the locals could regain control of their country. More arrived because of poorly controlled arms deals by Russia, China and members of the EU, including machine guns and tanks. When thousands of Iraqi soldiers deserted the army, these immense weapon stocks were looted by the IS. And eventually the refugees arrive. I think that all people share a common goal, to be able to support their family. This is impossible in a war-torn country threatened by terrorism. So people go on a giant journey leaving everything they have and all behind, in the hope to find a safe place. When they are lucky, they have not died on the way, they face right-wing retards like Donald Trump, Marine Le Pen or Franco Petri, whose country's direct or indirect actions displaced so many people.